So if you're an animal lover and love spending time working with your pet, the best feeling ever is teaching your dog a brand new trick and he actually gets it right. And we have animal behaviorist Karis Bryan in studio today with us, teaching us how to do a brand new and exciting trick. Karis, very nice to have you back with us. Thank you. And we'll see we're back with MJ as well, ready for action. Absolutely, she's <laughs> rocking. She's into it, she loves this. MJ, down. Oh, oh, a good girl. I just love this dog. <laughs> love this. Okay, so you're going to teach us a very special trick today. We're going to teach the dog how to play hide and seek. Wow, that sounds advanced. Very advanced, yeah. <laughs> it's very fun. Um, right. it, it's, a, it's a fun thing to do, especially if you've got children or if you've got a big house. Um, even if you have a small house, it's just another fun way to engage with yeah. your animals. I would never even think of teaching your dog to play hide and seek. I mean, that's great if the whole family can literally get involved now. Yes. Okay, cool. So where do you even start with something like that? So the way you start with this game is to teach your dog to touch a mark. And when I say a mark, I've got this little red piece of rubber. You yeah. can use a piece of rubber. You can use a small cloth. You yeah. can use a MJ. MJ's on one of that. <laughs> Come, go touch your mark. Touch. And good. What we teach the dog okay. first is how to touch something that's far away from you. Okay. And in this way, you have a way to stand still and send your dog away, and they'll go stand away. All right. We've spoken about this on the show, but for the viewers who haven't seen it, I'm going to quickly recap okay. if you want to teach your dog to touch a mark. MJ, sit. So the first step, just for the mark, yeah. is you want to get a couple of treats. Good girl. <laughs> and first, start by putting a treat on the target that you're okay, going to use. Cool. And again, you can use any flat surface that's not slippery. Yeah. Sit. Ooh, eager there for that piece of bite. Yeah. Sit. And then you say, touch. Wow, OK, cool. And, and obviously, she's going to go there because the food yeah. is there. If you repeat this enough and you say, touch as your dog is going to it, you start moving it farther away. And then eventually, you start taking the food off of the target. But when they go there, then you throw the food to them so I that see. they realize going to the target will get them a treat, regardless of whether the treat is there to start. All right, That's cool. the quick recap. Once Perfect. your dog knows how to touch, now then. Now we get into the hide and seek bit. This is the hide and seek part <laughs> of hide and seek. MJ, come here. All right. So you first put your dog into a stay, down, stay. Then you hide the mark. Oh. MJ, ah, uh, MJ, <laughs> down, down, look. MJ, go touch. Stay. <laughs> and then you disappear. Look at that. Break! What a good girl! <laughs> <laughs> She's clever. She's so clever. And, and at home, what you then start doing is hiding that and moving yourself farther and farther away so that the yeah. dog really has to hunt for it and look through the house. MJ, okay. come. MJ. Once again, perseverance. Patience and That's perseverance. It. Touch, touch, touch. Yes. Stay. There we go. And now she'll wait while I hide. Break, what a good wow. girl! Look at that. <laughs> and it's quite fun, as with anything, once your dog is comfortable hiding behind an object, you make the time yes. longer, and you make it a big party when you find each when other. You find yes. Okay, cool. So you're teaching your dog patience and yeah. waiting, and then there's a big reward, yeah. either of a treat, or you can play fetch at that point, or you can just run around and have a big it, yeah. play with your dog, and you're rewarding them that they were out of sight from you, and they held still, and they waited yeah. patiently for you to return. Fantastic. I can imagine that something like this takes quite a bit of practice. It does. It, yeah. All the complicated tricks take, yeah. do take a long time, but it's the kind of thing you work on a little bit slowly, a little bit every day, yeah. and your dog will get better at it, and they love it. Karis, that was very, very cool. So while you guys go play hide and seek, I'll tell you where to go to get some great tips on training your dog and teaching them new tricks. It's as easy as logging on to expressoshow.com. Check it out. Strong South African dogs help each other out. With your support, Bobtail will supply 200,000 meals to dogs looking for loving homes. For details, see specially marked packs in store or visit bobtail.co.za today.